proud to introduce the newly redesigned Positively No Pull Harness. I'm going to show you how to put it on properly, how to fit it correctly and how to use it. So now I'm going to show you how to use it. It's very easy, take it out of the box and use this as your guide. So this purple strap on the top goes over the head. There are two connection points here at each side. So undo them like this, very simple, and then put them over the dog's head. Sadie's being a very good model for me. All right, so now you put it over the dog's head. This strap goes between the dog's front legs and then you bring one of the straps up to one side and connect it here. And then you bring the other strap to the other side to connect it here. And there you have it. Could not be simpler. What's unique about this harness is that it has two points of connection on the chest here. And the reason why I designed it like this is because in other chest-led harnesses, you normally just have one loop here in the center of the chest. However, all harnesses will move when the lead is attached and you're walking and the dog is pulling. And what tends to happen is that when the dogs pull, the harness naturally comes to the side and pulls that loop to the side. Therefore, you lose that really important no pull action right here. The dog's center of gravity is the chest. And so when you have the loop on the chest, it's harder for the dog to pull. When we connect the leash, if you're on the right-hand side of your dog, you connect the leash to the far left clip. If you walk the dog on your right-hand side, then you connect the leash to the furthest right-hand loop. So therefore, when you're walking on the dog's right and you connect it to the left loop and the dog pulls, the loop will come to the center of the chest. When you're walking on the dog's left and you connect it to the far right loop, that far right loop, if the dog pulls, will come to the center of the chest. Therefore, you do not lose that no pull action. So what I'll do is I'll connect the leash here to the chest. As I'm on the dog's left, I will connect the lead here to the dog's, to the far right connector. And then I can connect the other end of my leash to the top connector. Now I have two points of contact. I can use it almost like you use the reins of a horse to guide the dog very gently. My harness is comfortable for dogs to wear because unlike other harnesses, it doesn't constrict. Also, it has this velvet strap that goes underneath the arms, so it prevents chafing. But it needs to fit snugly like a wristwatch so that you can get two fingers comfortably underneath here. So it's a nice snug fit, but not too tight as to make the dog uncomfortable. Every single strap is adjustable, so it can adjust to the unique shape of your dog's body. I'm going to demonstrate walking with my friend Daisy here. And because I'm walking on her right side, she's walking on my left, I've connected the leash to the far left connector point and I've connected the leash, the other end of the leash, to the top connector on the shoulders. And now we're just going for a walk. And, say, and Daisy's a bit of a puller. So um, with this now, she's just getting used to the fact that, oh, I can't pull if she pulls forward. Then I just put a tiny little bit of pressure on my leash and uh, that stops her from moving forward or for pulling me. So now we can just go for a, a nice walk, just um, using the little handle. Let's go. Now you have a nice healing dog.